there's kind of a neat way that you can use Creative Commons um, photos and information in your schoolwork as you're doing research. So if I were researching pandas, I could actually write my paper. So I'm just going to write um, my paper. Okay, so I have my paper written, or maybe I'm just starting to gather my notes and I'm not actually doing the finished project, but I decide that I want to find some pictures that I can use. You can actually do that right within Google Docs. Um, you can go to Tools and then Research, and this little bar will show up over here. So let's say I want to research pandas. I can just put it in there, and then I can hit this little drop-down carrot. And I can actually choose that I want to only look at files that I can share, modify, or use. Now you'll notice in the citation format that um, the tassel method is not available, but even if you have it cited with MLA or APA, that is fine. So I'm going to leave it on MLA, and I'm going to choose the photo I want. I'll just use this one, but if you wanted to use more, you can kind of scroll through. You can hover over them. Um, you know to make them a little bit bigger and once you find the one that you want you can just click on it and drag it right into your paper so the cool thing about this especially if you're not using this as your final project but if you're just using it um, to kind of put your notes together is that you'll see that now this picture automatically has a little one by it and if I scroll down to the bottom of my page, now it ad actually automatically kind of makes a little citation for me. Now it doesn't have your title, author, source, and license by any means, um, but it's nice because then when you're ready to actually put everything together and cite it properly, you have the link and you can just go right to it and find all of your information that you need. And if you actually took um, information from one of these sites, you could cite it, I was in a weird spot, <laughs> but you'll see um, the actual information they do cite according to the MLA format. So it's just a really nice, easy way for you to keep track of all your research as you're getting ready to create a document.